germs can be lurking just about everywhere, from our cell phones, bathrooms, and of course, they love to hang out in schools. But a group of students wants to make sure more kids get to school by keeping germs out. You've heard of the Ghostbusters. Well, get ready to meet the Germ Busters from Nathan Hale. Thanks to a partnership with the Cleveland Browns and Gojo, the makers of Purell, these students have turned into school hygiene experts, helping to boost their immune systems and school attendance. Nasty. I was disgusted. Gross. It was a little gross. Just some of the reactions when students discovered how easily germs spread. It was like everywhere. Now these fifth graders are on a mission to teach germs a lesson. First, as soon as we come in the classroom, we get hand sanitizer, then we get the bottle of spray, we spray it on everybody, then we wipe it down, then we get the wipes, and then we wipe our desk down and our chair down with it. But that's only the beginning after the students caught Saxonitis, an epidemic you probably haven't heard of, created by fifth grade science and math teacher April Saxon. The not so scary symptoms include excitement for math and excitement for science. It includes homework completion and it also includes perfect attendance. So actually I want Saxonitis to spread. And it sure did. Using a special glow lotion and black lights, students saw just how quickly germs can spread. And their teacher saw those Saxonitis symptoms spreading too. Students were more excited than ever about science and getting to school. It really, really drove home the point of when you come to school sick, and you spread germs, it literally goes everywhere. And so that really, really had them rethinking germ prevention and how germs are being spread and how we can prevent a lot of that. The fifth grade has taken on a mission and they're owning it as far as self-guided learning and self-inquiry um, where they wanted to research the different types of germs. So they're calling themselves the germ busters because I don't even have to say anything now. They are encouraging each other to sneeze in your elbow and not on your hands. Um, if somebody needs tissue, they know how to open the doors. So they're really, really taking this a couple steps further than what I ever thought they would. The germ busters even gathered samples throughout the school and followed the scientific method to determine which place was the germiest. We used petri dishes to store them over time. We found the stairwell had the most fungi in it. The railing, to be exact, so the germ busters took action. They shared their scientific findings with the custodian and continued to raise awareness around the school. I need a germ buster over in the technology area. When we're walking down the halls, they're screaming, don't touch the rail. The virus is growing aggressively in the Petri dish. <laughs> so that's it's awesome. All the time they tell me, Miss Why, you touch the rail. And, but then I'll have one of my germ busters come through in the clutch, but we'll take care of it. And so they'll give me the Pirelle and I'm thank you, thank you. The germ busters also presented their research and results to the Browns during a special visit from Chomps. One little germ might turn into millions of germs in your body. And every time you come from somewhere touching stuff, you have to get hand sanitizer or wash your hands or your paws if you're chomps. And it's working. Hygiene is better in the school and teachers have noticed fewer illnesses. So mission accomplished, germ busters. Germ busters is a way to help prevent, you know, illness. And so the kids can get to school and we can educate them. Several of the germ busters told me this project has inspired them and now they might want to become a doctor one day. The Browns and makers of Purell have brought this school hygiene program to nine other schools in the district. Reporting from Nathan Hale, Shannon Kantner, CMSD-TV.